Ah, so the men's French Open draw has just come out and it's looking very interesting for some of the big seeds. Uh, but let's have a look at the players that have pulled out because we've actually got a lot of players that have withdrawn from this year's event. All right, the men's withdrawal lists and of course some massive names as we know during the week. Starting with Brooksby, he's pulled out. Berrettini also pulled out. Quan has also pulled out. Murray pulled out, fo focusing on Wimbledon in the next couple of weeks instead. Uh, Kyrgios also pulling out. Garen has pulled out. Of course, Rafa pulling out first time in forever. We're not going to see Rafa in the draw. Uh, Edmonds also pulled out. Karina Busta also gone. Shardy and Chilich have also pulled out as well. So interesting to see, you know, some big names. Obviously, Rafa, Murray being, you know, Grand Slam champions. Berrettini's played well here before. Now, unfortunately, we don't get to see Kyrgios. Still in. There are some big names still playing, so let's go to the top of the draw. Here it is, the top section of the draw. 32 seeds. Nobody gets a buy in the first round. Alcaraz, he takes on a qualify in the first round. We don't know that would take on either O'Connell or Daniel in the second, then you've got Alnaldi taking on Gallen. Or that would take on either Nakashima or Shapovalov in the second round. Then you've got Musetti taking on Ima. Winner of that would take on either Shevchenko or Otter in the second round. Then you've got a couple of qualifiers going at it. Winner of that would take on either Pear or the number 14 seed Nori in the second round. Look, the qualifier, the thing is, if it's Karatsev, who is in the qualies, it could be very, it could be a very tough first round for Alcaraz. But, you know, Shapo is, is dangerous. Maybe he lights on fire. Alcaraz's draw doesn't look terrible until the fourth round. Musetti could be a nightmare. Obviously, Nori beat him in Rio. That could be tough. There's, look, there's some, definitely some hurdles there for Alcaraz to jump over. All right, next section of the draw, you've got Felix Ogeliasim, the number 10 seed, taking off Fanini first round. That is a nightmare for FAA, who's already Already not in great form, coming back from injury, and then you got to play Fanini, who's never fun. Uh, winner of that will take on either Kubla or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got another qualifier taking on Cressy. Winner of that will take on either McDonald or the 24th seed quarter in the second round. Then you got Morales taking on Schwartzman. Winner of that will take on either Isner or Borges in the second round. Then it's Bayana taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Vesely, five seed City Pass in the second round. So that's a very interesting section. I mean, City Pass's draw, awkward. I think Vesely's an awkward first round opponent. FAA's, I mean, Fanini's very, very tough. The quarter hasn't been great lately because he has his comeback trail, so maybe he's a little bit too soon to expect much from him. And of course, this section of the draw will play on the Alcaraz section, so we could be getting Alcaraz versus Sidney Pass. If we're going with the big boys, uh, Alcaraz takes on FAA. That could be a quarterfinal, potentially, if things go right for FAA. And they're probably the most likely situation. Okay, let's go to the second section of the draw. All right. Djokovic, number three seed. At the top of this section, he will take on Kovacevic, the American in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Fucevic or Grenier in the second round. Then you got Van Aish taking on Cecchinato. Winner of that will take on either Fies or Fakina. It's a very fun first round. Then you got RBA, Batista Agu taking on Wu. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Viralis in the second round. Then you got a qualifier taking on Grixpor. Winner of that will take on either Goffin or the 13th seed, Hercat, in the second round. Look, Djokovic's draw looks nice. I mean, Hercat hasn't been great. Kina could be awkward, but I don't know if Kina beats Nole because they both play so similar. You'd think Djokovic beats a guy that plays like him. And RBA is not really a clay court guy. I mean, Van Aish did take a set off Djokovic, but will he get that far? Feast could be fun uh, to play Norlay, especially with the crowd, the French crowd. Next section of the draw, you've got Hashinov, number 11 seed, taking on Lestian. Winner of that will take on either uh, Kips, an American wildcard, or a qualifier. Then you've got Vavrinka taking on Ramos Vinolas. Winner of that will take on either Kokonakis or Evan in the second round. Then you've got Shelton taking on Sinego. Winner of that will take on either Manorino or Umber in the second round. Then you've got Kazao taking on Mute. Winner of that will take on either Jera or the number seven seed Rublev in the second round. That's a tough match for Rublev. Jera has been good on clay. He actually won Rio back in 2019, I think. So Jera can play on clay. Not easy for Rublev. Uh, Umber's in that section. Very tough. Avrinka, of course, is always tough. But uh, Hashinov being there as well. Hashinov can play on clay. Very awkward section of the draw. Of course, this section of the draw will take on the Djokovic section. So we could be potentially getting Rublev taken on Djokovic if we're going by the seeds. We could be getting Hashinov Djokovic if we want to go something a little different. But most likely, Djokovic will make it through this section of the draw with some tricky opponents, but I don't think they're unbeatable. Next section the draw, you got Runa taking on Eubanks, number six seed Runa. Good start for him. I mean, Eubanks will be awkward, but he'll be happy with that. But the winner of that will take on either Monfils or Baez in the second round. Very tough second round opponent on the cards for Runa, no matter who that is. Then you got Perikad taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either another qualifier, Menovic, second round. Then you got Serendolo taking on Munar. Winner of that will take on either Montero or Bonzi in the second round. Then you've got Gasquet taking on Rindanish. Winner of that will take on either Mo or the number seed Fritz in the second round. I mean, look, Runa's, I mean, second round, Monfils will be tough in France and also Baez is just tough in general. Catch Menovic will be tough maybe third round, but I think Runa's probably got a nice draw. I mean, maybe Serendolo, 
or Fritz. You want to go with the seed? Gasquet could have a run. I mean, being in France, Frenchmen are never fun in France. Next section of the draw, you got Paul. 16C taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Jarry or Dillian in the second round. Then you got another qualifier taking on Giron. Winner of that will take on either Lehechka or Struff in the second round. That's a very fun first round. Then you got Van der Zandtrup taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Song or Lyovic second round. Then you got Bublik taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either another qualifier. Fourth seed, Kasper Rude. Rude's got a nice draw. Lyovic is tough. Struff has been tough. Struff actually beat Rude back at, uh, at the Monte Carlo. But I think Rude, if he doesn't play a tough quali, uh, he should like his section of the draw, I think. And of course, this section of the draw will take on the Runa section of the draw. So we could be getting Rude Runa, like we did last year in the quarterfinal stage. We did see it last week, and it was a very fun match in Rome. So that could be happening. Uh, or you could be getting Rude versus Fritz, if you want to mix it up a little bit with those top seeds. But... I mean, this section feels like maybe the more predictable of the bunch. Bottom section of the draw, you've got Sinner. Number eight seed taking on Muller in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Altmaier or Husler in the second round. Then you've got Rusevori taking on Barrer. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the number 28 seed Dimitrov second round. Then you've got Zverev, the number 22 seed, taking on Harris. Winner of that will take on either Gaston or Molchan second round. And you've got Poprin taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Krajinovic, 12 seed Tiafo. Sinner's draw looks nice. Rusevori is tough. Zverev is obviously tough. Dimitrov can be tough. But I, I think Sinner's draw looks pretty nice. I, I think he will rate his chances of making it at least to the fourth round. Tiafo hasn't been the greatest on the clay lately, so he's got a, got a decent draw. All right, then the bottom section of the draw, you've got Chorich, number 15. C taking on Correa. Winner of that will take on either Team or Cashin. Draper taking on Echeverry. Winner of that will take on either Avashka or the number 18 C Dimonor. Second round. Then you got Nishioka taking on Wolf. Winner of that will take on either Purcell or Thompson. Two Aussies going at it. Suck. Because one of them's got to lose. Uh, then you've got Hellas taking on Pella. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or two seed Medvedev in the second round. And like I said, Karatsev makes it through. Medi versus Karatsev could be a first round, which would be fire. But we don't know if that's going to happen yet. Uh, Medvedev, Chorich. You know, Chorich has been decent on clay to beat Medvedev. I don't know. Team's there, but team hasn't been great. So I don't know how much we can expect from him. So Medi's draw looks pretty decent. I don't think he should too worried except for who that qualifier is. And of course, this section of the draw will take on Sinner section. So we could be getting Sinner taken on Medvedev. In the quarterfinals, we're going by the big names. We could be getting Medvedev taking on Zverev again for the fourth time this year. Uh, this time in five sets, if we're going to go with maybe a little bit different. But again, it just feels like these like top seeds in this sec should get through. But who's going to win? The French Open on the men's side for 2023. Uh, like Alcaraz has got a trickier draw than Djokovic. But even if they played, I feel like Djokovic five setter. But let me know in the chat or in the comments below, who do you think's going to win? Runa? I mean, Runa's been pretty good. Could Medvedev win the French? That would be wild. That'd be wild. I mean, Alcaraz is still going to be the favorite, but I do think Djokovic's draw is a little bit easier. So I don't know if Alcaraz Djokovic will even meet. Djokovic might avoid him if he uh, does have the upset. But um, man, what a what an interesting French Open draw coming up in the next couple of weeks.